Hey everyone, here's a quick way to bootstrap a containerized app in any language. With this method, you'll be able to set breakpoints in your code and use your debugger with the container. Being able to use the debugger with your containerized code is important to know when working with containers. So first you need to install the Docker extension for VS Code. This extension will do the heavy lifting for us to set up our environment. Once installed, bring up the command palette and type add docker files to workspace then select the language of your choice. Now in the Explorer pane, create a new file called app, which will be run when your container starts up. Then type app as the entry point in the prompt. Now you can select if you want to generate Docker Compose files as well. We'll select yes. Now let's take a quick look at what the extension created for us. We have a Docker file which uses a container image of the language. At the end of the Docker file, it runs the app file that we created. The extension also created two Docker Compose files for us. We have a normal Compose file, which builds our Docker file normally. Then we have this special debug Compose file. This file overrides some properties of the Docker file, which enables us to use the debugger with our container. You can see that for Python, it runs the debugger by first installing the debug.py package and then running the python debug.py command. This module allows us to listen and wait for the debugger to attach before starting execution. It will be similar for the language that you chose. Then for the ports, you can see it has added a port mapping to expose the container to the debugger on the host machine. Now let's look at the debug configuration it created for us. We can easily run it from the debug tab. Just set a breakpoint, hit play, and it'll be hit after the containers are built. Please like this video if you found it helpful. It would mean a lot to me and give me motivation to make more videos. Please subscribe for more cloud development and full stack content like this.